Hello, this is the uh, second part of um, my Bedini Energizer. Um, I actually burnt out the transistor of uh, my original design. I was messing around with uh, Imatep Relay Energizer and I uh, tried to combine the outputs of the two and end up, ended up blowing up the transistor. So I've rebuilt it. Um, unfortunately I don't have um, another um, 10k pot so I've used a 5k so it doesn't give me quite the same results. I'm just going to show this um, very strange resonance effect that I, uh, I came across the first time. Now I turn the pot all the way down so basically all, I'm, all I've got uh, as resistance in the uh, base of the transistor is uh, 100 ohms. So I'm going to start it up. Okay, runs as normal. Um, as I turn up the pot, turn up resistance, notice it slows down and stops. But if I, uh, got to get this quite right. There you go. Now it seems I've started the the kind of magnetic resonance basically like uh, it's like I think it's like audio feedback um, that the uh, magnetic flux from the magnets going around started a um, or, or induced a current in the in the trigger coil which then induced the current in the in the power coil and the collapsing magnetic fields induced another um, current in a trigger and so on and so on and you, you're getting a I believe you're getting a feedback uh, response now the interesting thing is as I increase the resistance you can quite hear it the frequency goes up and again I've only got a 5k here so I can only get this this uh, this particular frequency out of it. Um, my previous version, the frequency went up a lot higher. Um, now I'm just going to try and get a nice, uh, nice resonance there. Now the only reason you're hearing this sound, and I guess it's an accident really, is because I'm using this this hard disk platter, which is like a metal metal platter if I touch it you can see it's, it's literally the um, magnetic flux in the uh, in the coil um, that's actually um, you know uh, attracting and repelling the magnet and, and vibrating the, the platter you see as I've moved the magnet away you, you don't hear the noise so much um, if I rotate it back um, I have to say that it's not a badly designed circuit that's causing this. The circuit is correct. The only difference is that I've increased the resistance in the base of the transistor. The circuit is kicking out voltage here. Um, I don't have a voltmeter um, hooked up to it. Um, however, if I disconnect the charging battery, you'll notice that our little neon here is lit, proving that there's at least 120 volts kicking out here. So we can tell that uh, even though the, the the wheel isn't spinning, we're getting. Um, emotionless energizer effect. <laughs>